It is so good to see you again. <laughs> it's great to be here. It's good to see you again. So much has happened. Yeah. I mean, 10 so months. Wow. I want to thank you, first of all, for taking all the time that you have with me for the last 10 months and for giving me back. I would say giving me back my life, but actually I think you've given me a better life than the life I was destined to have on the path that I was going. And I, I, there, I don't think there would ever be a way that I could ever express regret. But I want you to know that it's so, it's so strong. And I just, I want to thank you. You're going to make me cry. So it's been a joy. You are just a joy to know and to work with. You do almost everything I say. It's slightly that I tell this to people like all the time. Do what I ask you to do, you're gonna get better. I mean, we'll figure it out. And you're complicated. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you for like validating that thought like, in me. There's like so <laughs> yes. much. There, there was a lot. And it was hard. Yeah, it was very hard. Very it was hard, hard right? I mean, initially it's confusing and it's like, what do I do? And then Overwhelming. But you worked it. I did work on it. A lot. You worked on it. And then the supplements and some of the medicine, all of that helped to get the biological part mm -hmm. of it. And then the psychological circle mm -hmm. became a master anteater. <laughs> yeah, I had some ants on the way down here today. <laughs> but I used, you know, I know I was able to notice them and not, what is it? I got curious and not furious, which was something that you taught me. It made a big difference. I was able to talk myself out of a full on panic attack. So you don't attach to yeah. them mm -hmm. and you see them as little lies. And one of our fun <laughs> strategies was give your mind a name. Yes. Psycho Sandy. Psycho Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> My mom likes that too. She's like, Psycho Sandy, yes. Psycho Sandy, yes. I, she's never going to go away, right? She's just going to be my friend forever. She's my friend now, though. Well, if you can turn her into a friend yeah. and like with your friends, you don't have to believe them. Yeah. And you can hang up the phone. Right. <laughs> right. Go away. I can laugh with her now. All these circles work together all the time, sort of like four wheels on a car. If one's off, yeah. you're not getting. To where you want to go um, and then the spiritual circle you've always been a deeply spiritual yeah. purposeful person but then taking what you're learning and sharing it with your community that's been really important yeah always it's been my intention to give back i have a firm belief that everyone's struggling i've always believed this and maybe now that after the work that I've done with you, I can see that it's because I was I was struggling so intensely that how else could I view the world as but a world that's struggling, right? But I do, I think people are struggling and I think after the pandemic, people are struggling even more. And it's always been my intention is to help people feel less alone in that struggle because I felt so alone in my struggle. And I would never, if, if I can help one person and truly one person is all that matters, I can help one person feel just a little bit less alone or a little bit less confused about what they're going through. It, it's a win for me. And so that has always been my spiritual, like it's what keeps me going. I like to help people. It feels good. Carrying Conversations, the, my digital series that I started is thanks to you because you were able to help me believe in myself, number one. But before I could even believe in myself, you helped me. It's almost like you helped me gather myself into like one manageable entity, as opposed to I was like just this huge enigma with pain and confusion and depression and a brain that was moving at a dysregulated speed at times, right? And not understanding that Erlen syndrome I mean, there were so many things, right, that were causing so much chaos in my brain. And you you went slowly and methodically through all of it. Thank you, God, that you're so methodical. Because I was like, oh, you with me now. with you And you'd be like, oh. <laughs> and 
And now I can like, I can choose my life instead of feeling like I'm like riding on this wave. Reacting. To yeah, reacting. I can to choose it. my life. I love that. What I love is yeah. you did what I asked you to do. And, mm -hmm. and we worked hard, right? Mm -hmm. We talked to each other virtually every week. And um, you went to the hyperbaric chamber 50 times and you took your supplements. We adjusted the medication as we thought appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, dealing with what you were dealing with, at work and with your health, with a brain that's really struggling, makes it immeasurably harder. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because because you're just you're so smart and so talented. Thank you. But that level of stress, you couldn't sort of like fight your way out of it. I couldn't keep up. And then after I, I think. When was this? A couple of months ago, it was December. Um, we did the follow-up scan. Yeah, December. I think. It, it's already better, like dramatically better, because um, with a better brain, you're more of who you can be with mm -hmm. less stress. Yeah. <laughs>